So how's your week been, Myrtle? You guys have been busy hashtagging up a storm, eh? So, 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 hello everybody. We've had, um, we've had a fantastic week. Um, and before I give my little report back, I'd just like to say thanks so much to the Fields of Green for all team. They really have pulled up all the stops up, put everybody under ridiculous um, deadlines because, as we know, that's the only way to get things done. Um, but it's been very exciting. You know, the main thing of the Cannabis Can Help SA, the main thing that we're driving is petition signatures. Whoa, pushing this boulder up hills. So I can report back that at the beginning of the week on Monday, we had 33,827. No Jacob Zuma moment there. Uh, and we now have 33,938. So we managed to get a poultry. 111 signatures in the last five days. Wow. Okay. Okay. Pulling that's teeth. It's really okay, that's it. but that's what you have to do. That's yeah, slow start, but guys, we need you to... Know, numbers are numbers, and this is going to go. I think yeah. a, a lot of the reason is mo it's, an old, it's an old petition and many people that are really hardcore fans have signed it long ago. Mm. Our trick is to, everyone's nodding in the every the team here, we've got to get it to the other folk. Mm -hmm. We've got to get it to a different demography. That's the trick with this one. But you're yeah. doing a great job, Myrtle. I mean, I'm involved on the periphery with the people in and out and watching it and getting out on Twitter. How do you feel about it all? You're, you're confident? Um, yeah, yeah, I think we're confident. You know, we did decide because of the, of the, of the deadline, um, we did decide to start slowly. So this week, basically, what we've, what we've dealt with is... Um, uh, Cannabis 101, which Marlene is going to tell you about in a minute. And then um, we've, we've dealt with the chapter in our manifesto because each, each week has a theme um, according to the chapters of our manifesto because the secondary uh, objective of this whole Cannabis Can Help South Africa campaign is to get all of this incredibly dense information that's in our manifesto out there and in a, some sort of digestible form that people can start talking about. For example, in a conversation that comes up, oh yeah, I was driving the other day and I was so stoned, I waited for the stop street to turn green. You know, ha 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 ha. What's going to happen about weed and driving after proper legalization? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I read in the manifesto that there's actually scientific evidence that shows that weed does not impair driving to the extent that alcohol does. So, all prescription medicine. So we're, we're trying to like inform the conversation. Mm. So to start off slowly this weekend, this week, we dealt with the whole background. So we dealt with uh, the history of cannabis, which everybody should know by now, particularly in South Africa. And we dealt with all the background issues, like what does the cannabis market look like right now in South Africa? So we've got put out five blog posts. Uh, we've put a few videos. Um, and just basically laying the ground, and then we were really, really, we had two big lights this week. The first one was that it was the Black Lives Matter week, and we had chosen black as our back color for the campaign, so it really stood out nicely on social media. So I think that that um, was a good luck. And then uh, the other thing was that the Piero came out with a great cartoon. Um, taking the piss out of the churches and the religious gatherings that are allowed, and it ends up with Ramaphosa saying, our president saying, um, that, oh, what next are you going to tell me you want a Dacha club? And so that went out into the into the ether, and Mali is also working on the Dacha private clubs um, project mm. together with Charles and Dale, and they'll be reporting back week after next about, uh, about Dacha clubs. So it's been a crazy week. It's been fun. It's been um, it's been great. And it feels like we're kind of achieving something after this malaise of the last kind of six weeks. So we're excited. And next week we're going to be putting it up a notch. We've got a video challenge. We've got a competition. We've got lots and lots of information coming about coming about the um, foundational principles of what we must think about for legalization. That's on the serious side. So please, or we ask, please can you share the petition? Please can you use the hashtag cannabis can help SA? And, um, and look out for our stuff and see where you can, if we don't get a hold of you directly or tag you directly, then please um, can you just look out for our stuff and share it and come up with ideas of what we can do because we've got from now until the end of June. Laka, laka.
Lekker. Lekker, lekker. Enjoy your evening watching the show. And uh, John Vergados from Montreal in about 20 minutes or so. I'll see you on the thread for that. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly be watching that from the couch. And I'd also like to just uh, give Marlene five minutes to just hop onto the couch mm. there and to mm. tell us about the Cannabis 101 Challenge that's been running uh, this week and that it's going to run for the duration of the month. Um, so, yeah. Hi, And... <laughs> uh, thanks so much. I'm going to go put my pajamas on. Bye. 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 Welcome to the couch. You haven't been on the thanks. couch. You came on the couch from D-Day, yeah? Yeah, but you yeah. caught me by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. But have you been on a hotbox yeah. couch before? No, I haven't. Well, tell yeah. us what. Tell us how to you the got... virgin, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I have a fucking bong? Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Yeah. Yeah. A dab. Have a dab. No, yeah. Have a dab yeah. with pleasure. Yeah. So while well, uh, Marlene is a lack of fat dab, yeah. Thanks. Um, uh, Fields of Green has been pumping out content like every day. Mm. Um, yeah. It's a definitely a refresh on a lot of the information that the Dacha couple and Fields of Green have put out there. And I've seen Marlene's name a lot there with the articles mm. as well. She's on the ground banging out a lot of content. So Marlene, what's the one on one about? Or would you like to? I'd like to. Oh, While okay. she's doing this, let me just add on a quick side note because Merkel touched on with the, the, um, the theme of, of black for this week. I just want to just make a, a little side note. We didn't choose black after all Thank of this um, stuff has, has started happening. We'd actually chosen the color a couple of weeks before the world yeah. fell apart and racism started becoming a big uh, 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 talking point yeah. Yeah. and Flushed focus point and things sure. like that. Yeah. So it was um, <sighs> a coincidence. We didn't piggyback on that. They didn't piggyback, obviously, on yeah. You know, we in, the, no. in the greater scheme of things, but <coughs> just yeah. a little. It, I felt it important to make a note on that. Sure, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. I'm See ready. it for once, no? Okay. So, um, Myrtle was in Parliament last year, and she realised that uh, those folks don't really know much about cannabis, hey? No. Um, and obviously, if you want to put in a law about a plant, like best you know what it's about before you put in any laws, because how can you decide? how to manage this thing if you don't understand it. So um, we decided as part of our campaign, or, or to uh, our Cannabis Can Help South Africa campaign, that uh, who better to educate the lawmakers than the actual fucking stoners who are smoking the plant? I AKA mean, the industry experts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? yeah. You guys. You guys. The industry experts. You guys. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, birds. Yeah. That's it. Is that back to... Semen and THC yeah. are dank spirits. Oh, you're, okay. <laughs> you're oh, dank spirits. The bots are going to hit us so hard when we get there later. But stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. We're going to get to the semen. Okay, back to the 101. Back to the 101. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So, um, we need to get you guys to uh, educate these people, man. We want to get you involved uh, to help us educate them before the deadline of the Concord judgment falls into whatever is going to fall into um, so that we can have our say because if we don't at least try to make a difference then what is it all for? What have we been doing all this time? What have we been fighting for? And this is the last push like we just really need to just like just a little bit more but we need all the help that we can get. So mm. we've decided that we're going to let you do the talking. We are going to get you guys at home to help us write an article, like a proper, proper article that's going to go into the manifesto, that's going to go with the petition to the president. Okay, so this is not, uh, it's not going to just go up into the air and disappear. Like your name is going to be there, your expertise is going to be there, and everyone <coughs> is going to know that like you are the guy that knows how this plant works, what can it do for us, how does your system work with this plant, and how can our country benefit from this. So, we're giving you a structure. We want you to tell us, firstly, what is cannabis, okay? I'm not even gonna, like, I expand on that, like, it's, it's stupid, but actually, wait, let me say this. Last week, when we were deciding our names for the campaign, I spoke to one of my Zulu friends to help me translate <coughs> to see if we can use some of the hashtags in other languages. And when I asked, when I used the word cannabis, he wasn't sure, like, okay, is cannabis weed? Yeah, it won't translate. And I was like, mm. but I was like completely surprised, like, how are you living in this world and you don't know that cannabis is weed? So that's a very mm. basic place mm. that we obviously need to start. So tell us what is cannabis and then tell us that 
or what is the difference between <coughs> Daka and hemp? Because mm. there is a difference. Okay, tell us about that. And then when we go into all of these different strains, we want to know about hybrids and indicas and sativas because that is also a distinguishment that needs to be made. Then obviously our system, we have this lovely endocannabinoid system that is coming into play with, with all these lovely medicines that are coming out nowadays. And um, that's also <coughs> a big thing that people don't really know much about. People don't know how the system works, how... Mm. How does it look on the inside and yeah. how does what you bring into your body interact with that and what is the effect of that? So that's important to know. And then obviously very important from a, an economical perspective is what can this plant be used for? Because that's also a million things that can make a difference in a million ways for this country right now. The most important part, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Everyone's got a bag of zol in their heads. It's not about a bag of zol. Yeah. Yeah. It helped. Bags of zolls are great. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it would help yeah. them see the yeah. bigger picture yeah. and exactly yeah, what sure. else you could do. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So we are asking you guys to visit our, um, our campaign page, Cannabis Can Help South Africa. And in the comment section, submit your, your, uh, your comments. Your document, yeah. your educating the lawmakers document. So you can go onto the blog. There's an article explaining everything that I just said to you and explaining how where to go and where to submit your things. Um, but yeah, guys, please keep an eye out on on social media for us. Like we're really pushing hard to get out all the attention that we can get, mm. um, and we need your support. Like this is the time to share, and this is the time to get everyone that you know involved and ask for their help. We really need. But, but it. sorry, I haven't got time. No, make time. Make time. <laughs> make time. Right. Make time. Okay, make time. <laughs> make time. Lockdown volume three. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, it's honestly, guys, it's as simple as a like and share to yeah. help things get along. It's and really tell your, you, do, yeah. you know, tell your cannabis story, what it means to you, because it mm. means a lot to us. Because a lot of people, I wrote an article a while ago, was like, can cannabis really save the world? And a guy put me on my spot a bit and he said, you know, what? it might not save the world, but it'll, it could save my world. Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? mm. Start so at like, home. That's an excellent point. Start yeah. at home. But it brings us onto our poll for this week. Yes. Our poll is, can cannabis help the post... C word or the post lockdown economy. The reason I asked this, there was a very good interview on, I think it was Biz News Daily or something like that, with uh, Paul Michael from Schindler's, uh, with a uh, peer from Africanibus, I think, yeah. and the one chick from Sapra. And it was laying about CBD and corruption. But the whole thing was like, we, we've got so much to gain and so little to lose by doing this, because also if we don't do it, there's going to be no point. Of yeah. even attempting to, because everyone will have surpassed us forever. Forever. That's it. Now is the time. So, the poll this week is, guys, can cannabis help South Africa's economy? Definitely. Nope. Or, it already does. Dun, da, da. Because yeah. maybe there is an informal <laughs> market that exists already that has survived through all of this anyway. So, <laughs> maybe it's all moot. That's it. You tell us. I think right? people that have been operating yeah. in the black market system... The cannabis community were a whole lot more prepared to handle lockdown yeah. and um the noobs i mean shame having to try and find cigarettes and alcohol yeah look it was a bit no, of a fair shame. Shame. Was, yeah. 14 days you know everyone took them on face value of 14 days so they got two weeks of ciggies but shame well. they still trust their government <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> <laughs> um, um, well, Chris J says people. that he's willing to help with the, our campaign as much as possible. So thank no, you, Chris. Nice. Really thank appreciate you. that. Awesome. Yeah, I forgot to say this. The, the, yeah. the chat's going crazy. Yeah, the chat is going crazy. <laughs> crazy. Going crazy. Oh, some oaks. Awesome. Uh, Carl Peterson's watching. Hello, Kyle. Uh, Anton de Boer. Love the al elbow coughs. So we've got the C-word coughs going on. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Joe, fr Joe VDM, friend of ever maybe. First time watching from Jay Bay. Hello, Joe. Hello. Uh, Peter Ryger. Isn't it cool to see the crew back, Peter? I thoroughly agree with you, matey. And on this side, we've got... Yeah. Brendan Wainwright. Uh, Mary Lou. Mary Lou, hello. Hey. Gerber the Gardener. Gerber. Suresh Patel. Suresh is in the house. Chris J. Hey. Russ Warren. Has Chris J. got his tin hat on? Uh, he doesn't say so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zolbart. Michael Muller. Hey, full on. Full on. Full on. Amy, yeah. hello, so, Amy. Hey, um, 
Marlene, thanks for yeah, the update. Yeah, I'm scared huh? you guys are going well, no, to get onto the semen um, pot before. No, I'm scared you're getting to the semen pot before I go. So Do you need a bed before you go? Thanks, guys. Bobby. Can I, um, can I have a desk cam, please? Because I just want to.